So everybody applied and almost everybody got an account and everybody started selling. And I was doing, I was focusing my monthly webinars about Walmart and what to sell and what to do. And, you know, and two, three months after that, people were making 10K a month, yeah. 20K a month. And people were like so many success stories so fast. And then COVID hit. And that was amazing yeah. for all the sellers. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. This is David from We Are Growth Hack and today I'm with my new good friend Michal. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I am very good, thanks. It's a sunny day here, but I'm not going out. <laughs> yes, here. it's morning for you and night for me. <laughs> yes, where are you based? I'm in Las Vegas. Oh, amazing. Are the casinos still open or... Everything is, is really normal in here. Everything is open. Uh, if you go to the hotels, it's very busy. The strip is back to normal. Wow. Yeah, have... there's like, you know, it's actually, there's not much COVID in here anymore. So it's really good. It's really good. It's amazing. I mean, yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you have to wear a mask if you're going in public places? Yes. Okay. But I guess you can just do your normal life, you know, taking precautions and being a good citizen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, Michal, um, I want to tell why you're here, why we are interviewing you today, because as you guys know, if you've been selling on e-commerce or on Amazon, uh, there's been a lot of, you know, new policies and limitation, inbound limitations, limits, you know, they come and go, new restrictions. And we have been talking about Walmart that, Michal is actually an expert of uh, for quite a few years now. We wrote the first time about Walmart as a, you know, as the best um, alternative to selling on Amazon as a marketplace if you want to sell in the US already since 2018. And then I discovered that my friend Michal is actually an expert when it comes to Walmart. So Michal, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us how did you get um you know, uh, doing what you're doing right now, so helping sellers on, on Walmart? Yes. So I'm an Amazon seller, like everyone. <laughs> I'm selling on Amazon since 2011. So I was very lucky to start in 2011 because it was so different. Back then, they were actually supporting sellers. Uh, it was very easy. They were even sending you emails every day, what to sell, they were calling you. It was like a completely different world. Uh, you know, like the wild, wild west. We, I started with, so I, I just had the newborn and I was home trying to figure out what to do with myself. And I had some things laying around and just start putting them on Amazon and it was selling in a couple of hours. So that's made me think, you know, okay. And then, Again, back then it was so easy. So I went to stores, I started sourcing, and then I actually, everything was selling. I looked at the package and then I was selling a lot of merchandise, like licensed merchandise, kid merchandise. I look at the package, I contacted the manufacturers and I, I was getting account with all those manufacturers. Again, it was the beginning. So I started selling and I was scaling very, very fast. And then... Uh, once I got really to a good, comfortable, comfortable place, uh, Amazon actually got accounts with almost all my manufacturers. And then they kicked me out because I was not, <laughs> I could not compete with their price. Yeah. Um, so then I had to start, you know, thinking. So I started a little bit private labeling and, you know, different kind of wholesalers. So that's really what I did with Amazon. And then I think in 2016, I think in 2016, I got an email uh, from Walmart, an mm -hmm. um, invitation to sell on Walmart. And I don't know, I, I don't know why, but I had this such a good feeling. I was, you know, nobody heard about Walmart back then. But yeah. for me, you know, I see there's Walmart everywhere. I know people know Walmart, so I was very excited. And um, so the first two years, I was not trying too hard. And then in 2020, I was like, okay, it, it got really complicated on Amazon for me and for everybody with the FBA and the rules and the restriction and IP claims. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All the IP claims and, you know, so many problems, you know, 
I, I had the exact same problems almost every Amazon seller had. And then in 2020, um, I was uh, actually had a mastermind group that we were focusing on licensed merchandise and clothing. And then I tell everybody in the mastermind group, I say, hey, guys, how about you try to sell in Walmart? So everybody applied and almost everybody got an account and everybody started selling. And I was doing, I was focusing my monthly webinars about Walmart and what to sell and what to do. And, you know, and two, three months after that, people were making 10K a month, yeah. 20K a month. And people were like so many success stories so fast. And then COVID hit. And that was amazing yeah. for all the sellers. And in that time, Amazon, if you had your <laughs> merchandise shipping to Amazon, what happened? It was stuck for like yeah. four weeks, three, yeah. four weeks. Yeah. So yeah. with Walmart, if you sell on Walmart, you have to work with the logistic place or with the liver or, or you need to ship it yourself. So then what happened is all the customers start flowing to Walmart because they got it faster. So, yeah. 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 So that was a big benefit. Uh, for you know for us as sellers to get so much traffic because people they go to amazon and then you need to the delivery date it's in three weeks you know people need their basic stuff right so that yeah. was really amazing uh, yeah i remember this was a huge problem for some of the accounts we were managing at that time i think it was yeah. between uh february to march april 2020 you literally couldn't deliver anything like mm -hmm. expected date, you know, November 2020 when you're ordering in March, that was terrible. So yes. I remember, and I, and I think, yeah, having a secondary, a backup, you know, plan and marketplace already set and in place and working is definitely the best thing. We, we said already before, do not put all of your eggs into the same basket. And that's a rule yes. that applies to everything. So let's take a step back. Uh, I think it would be very interesting to see how actually Walmart, you say you've been selling on Walmart, you've been invited in 2016. It is super yes. interesting. Could you tell us a little bit how the selling platform on Walmart and the features of Walmart have been evolving since then? And how did you get, did we get to the point where we are right now that I guess it's, you know, a little bit more evolved. It offers a lot more features to the sellers. It's getting closer and closer to, to the Amazon seller center, right? Yes. So yeah, back then uh, there was not too many features and then it was very glitchy. So it would take mm. you time to upload your listing. Um, but at the same time, because Walmart is completely different marketplace, you don't need to get ungated in anything. So I can sell anything. All mm. the categories and all the brands I cannot sell on Amazon, I can sell on Walmart. Um, so that was a huge benefit. Now, actually, I think it's working perfectly. I don't see any issues. Um, you need to, usually you upload, you have a couple of ways to upload your listing. You can do it on the web the same way you do it on Amazon. You can just create listing or create UPC match. It's the same thing as you do on Amazon when you grab an SEN and try to add yourself to that listing. So with Walmart, you use the UPC. You just put the UPC number and you click add yours and you put your price and you're selling it. A minute after that, you're live and you're selling it. So it's very easy to sell things. They're already on Walmart. And if this product is not on Walmart and that's where is the money is at, that's where I'm telling everybody, there's so much money sitting in all these products. They're not on Walmart. Um, so that's really what I'm helping people to show them how simple it is. So you can do it on the web. You can use Excel spreadsheet and you upload it and it's live. So again, it's working. It's working really good. They're changing their system, you have a growth opportunity when they can actually show you what's selling, they can show you rank, things that you cannot see if you don't have an account. Um, and there's a lot of exciting things that coming in the future. So I know they're, they're trying to integrate now walmart.com with Walmart Canada. So now soon you can have both accounts together. So there's a lot of exciting things happening. Yeah, yeah, this is this is amazing. So you also have shared some numbers with me. We'll just go through that. Maybe I will show some screenshots uh, later in the video. 
Uh, I think one of the most interesting thing that you have shared with me here, you gave me some data is that actually, so Walmart now is accountable for almost 6% of retail e-commerce sales. And that oh, yeah. put it, puts Walmart right below Amazon is number two yep. in the U S right now. So yeah. this is this is huge because not because of the absolute numbers here, but because let's say uh, so what we what we say always a lot of time is we always make this example, okay, with, with Amazon. You're getting a smaller piece of the cake, but the cake is getting larger. Now with Walmart, the cake is smaller, definitely smaller than Amazon. Okay, in term in terms of sale is what like uh, six times less than than Amazon, six times smaller than Amazon. But the, the piece of the cake that you get is oh, yeah. a lot larger, right? Yes. And I see here some other stats. I mean, I love these numbers that you have shared with me, and I'm gonna put them in the screen later. Uh, monthly monthly visits. The average Amazon seller gets two thousand two thousand one hundred visitors. Uh, per month on Walmart, you get twenty-seven thousand. This is this is amazing. Tell us more about this. Yes, yeah, so there is. It's very simple math because on Amazon, I think you have one point nine million sellers, right? And on active Walmart sellers. right now, active sellers. <laughs> and active, 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 yeah, yes. you have There's you have two and a half like, millions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and on Walmart, I think now they pass the sixty, maybe they close to seventy thousand sellers. Uh, so yeah, that's mean that each seller have so much more traffic because you don't have competition. So a lot of, most of the things you're going to sell, you're not going to have competition. And if you will have competition, it will be another one or two sellers. That's it. It's not going to be too much. Maybe something really popular can have nine sellers, but I rarely, really rarely see that. So by the statistic, and the numbers that Walmart is having the e-commerce, there's a lot of money there, right? Each seller right now can easily make one million dollar a year. Wow! By the That's, numbers, so there's so much money, so much money, in, and in, little bit in, sellers in each category. Yep. Wow! That's amazing. Um, uh -huh. Okay, let. Let's say I'm an Amazon seller and I'm selling garlic press on Amazon now for something like 50 to 100 US dollar per month. How much would I expect uh, in turnover uh, on Walmart if I say I start now from now to six months when I have, you know, set up my account, set up my, my store, optimized everything, started doing a little bit of advertising. Maybe we can talk about advertising later. What kind of monthly sales should I be expecting if this is my volume on Amazon? I think the average Walmart seller, uh, they see an average right now between 20 to 30% of their Amazon sales on mm -hmm. Walmart. But some, it really depends on your product. Some categories do better and some categories don't do so much. Some brands need more time. <clears throat> but it really depends what you're selling. So if, for example, you're selling an item, let's say, um, um, let's stay with the, with the uh, garlic. Um, so if you sell that, if you go to Amazon, how many pages you have? Uh, when you search for it, how many pages do you get? Yeah, exactly. You know? yeah. <laughs> like 10, 20? Too many. Maybe too a many. lot, right? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know about Walmart, but I can tell you that most of the <laughs> products on Walmart have maybe three pages. Okay. So that's a big difference. Some product can have maybe 10 pages, but it's usually between um, around three the average is three pages for, you know, just basic, basic items. So that's mean that you have already, you have better chance for the customer to find your product. <laughs> now, how long is it going to take you on Amazon to get to the first page? Might going to take you a year on Walmart. I can tell you that it might can take you just a couple of weeks. Yeah. So that's yeah. a difference. Yeah. Yeah. And I think right now on Amazon to really make the difference you know, as we always say, we constantly constantly say that you have to pick a product that is different somehow. You really yeah. have to use your brain in order to find the evolution of a product that is really there. 
because you're not going to beat your competitors. They probably have too many reviews already. They have thousands and thousands of reviews. They have, you know, this BSR, this keyword rank, this sales velocity that you just cannot beat if you don't build something that is different, that goes to pick your customer avatar in a certain way, in a particular way. And you have to figure out the way you know, of communicating to your, uh, to your, to your customer avatar, actually. So you have to do really a big job in search for the right product and also in communicating the value and the selling points when it comes to Amazon, but on Walmart, you can definitely take something that is that you have zero chance to sell on Amazon and doing a good profit and just put it there. Yeah. So I think this is, this yes. is the very interesting thing right now, you know, the advantage yes. of the first comer, you can still be a first comer, in pretty much almost maybe any category on Walmart if you jump in right now. Yeah, I want to tell you that I'm, I also have a services that we optimize and create listing for brands. And, and for myself, I sell a lot of licensed merchandise. So it's easy for me because people are searching what I'm selling. But my, this kind of product, my average sale is two days. So I list the item in two days, I get my first sale. If it's more brands, it can take between four to seven days. Again, no advertisement, nothing, just organic sales coming in. If it's, you know, if it's a product that people are looking for and there is not too much competition. And also Walmart customers, they're not Amazon customers. So they're not searching for a product that have a lot of reviews. So they're mm -hmm. not focused on, it's different kind of customers. Yeah. So the reviews are important, but you will sell so much with no reviews as well. Oh, that's that's really cool. I yeah. think, you know, we are back now uh, to the roots when when you didn't have so that many reviews in Amazon and the customer was just buying because it mm -hmm. comes from Amazon. So even though yeah. it's uh, probably a, an item branded in China, made in China with an unknown brand, but they know that they can get a refund. If they have, you know, a few yeah. good reviews, that would be okay. And I'm referring to when I started, you know, helping sellers on Amazon 2014, 2015, that was the main reason why people would buy on Amazon because they know if there is anything wrong, they can have a 30 days refund, refund within 30 days. So everything, everything is smooth. There is no space here to, to waste your money. Uh, this is really interesting on Walmart. If we would have to, you know, take a look at the Walmart listings right now, how they're structured. I mean, I, I have seen some listings, listings on Walmart. They pretty much look like Amazon listings. Is there anything that you can tell us to compare, you know, uh, the anatomy of an Amazon listing compared to a Walmart listing? What is similar? What is different right now? Yeah, so there's a lot of things are different. Um, it's basically the same, but you have to lay it out different. And what I see, I see a lot of people making the mistake, just copy, paste, Amazon listing to Walmart. Now, the number one guidelines, Walmart have a guidelines for their listing like Amazon, you know, how, how long your title can be, a description, what you can put in it, what you can know. There's a lot of guidelines. Um, and I see people making a lot of mistakes. But um, it's, it's basically the same. You have the title. Now, the title should be up to 75 characters. It's mean it cannot be long. So it's, it need to be the right. <laughs> yeah. Again, it's yeah. nothing going to happen if you make it extremely long, but it's actually hurting you. So mm. it's hurting you because now you're not going to be displaying Google ads because the title is too long or maybe it's not. Um, it's have to start with the brands. If it doesn't go by the guidelines, you, you're missing out a lot of opportunities that Walmart will actually will uh, yeah. rank Give you free higher. traffic. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the free traffic. You're missing so much free traffic if you don't follow the guidelines. And you have the description. The description uh, need to be up to 500 uh, characters. Um, it can be, again, a little bit more, but again, 500 characters, I think it's um, between 500 to 1,000. That's really how you want to keep it. And then each key features is similar to bullet point, and you can have up to nine. So I think mm. Amazon, Amazon, I know five. people usually do five, right? So yeah, it's still five. five. Yeah. yeah, it's still There five. is some way to get seven or six, but normally yeah, it's five. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then, for example, in Amazon, always the, you know, the fifth, a bullet point is about the customer satisfaction and their returns. You're not allowed to do that on Walmart. This is okay. not, no, it's have That's to be just 
informative. Your listing have to be informative. Um, your titles cannot have any kind of symbols in them and all kind mm. of, you know, emote. No, you cannot do those on Walmart. This is against the guidelines. Talking about the, uh, you know, customer satisfaction and re refund policy, does Walmart provide this 30 days refund policy or anything yes. similar? So the reason why there, Walmart have so many loyal customers and they now go and shop online is because they know they can go to the store and return something after a year, right? They would still take it, right? Yeah. Um, with the receipt, it says 90 days. You can go with the receipt and, and return your item in 90 days. But the customer service in Walmart, they're so good. Yeah. And even if you come with, with the receipt after a year, they're still going to take it. So people know that Walmart customer service, it is the best. It's, yeah. it's definitely better than Amazon for sure. Yeah. I think the customers are very, very satisfied. So on online, they give you the same policy, 30 days. The customer can go online and just in one click, do return and get a label, free label. He doesn't pay for the returns. Uh, the sellers pay for their returns, but you know, this is part of the business. This uh, is, yeah, this is super yeah. cool because so it's easy. Yeah. Yeah. We know that actually Amazon became the large company, very successful that they are right now because of the number one, you know, belief that they always had to be the most customer centric and customer focused company in the world. But I see that now Walmart is stressing on the right point, you know, giving a one year refund policy that you don't, you don't even have to deliver. You just have to go to the Walmart store next to your house. And this is, you know, this infrastructure of stores, physical stores that Walmart has already in place is definitely an advantage against Amazon. I remember I was yeah. talking to one of my friends and he told me in 2017, if there could be only one player that could be, you know, the, the real competitor of Amazon, that's Walmart because they already have yes. the logistic and the store in place. Oh, they yeah. just have to do the right investment in e-commerce and they're good to go. Yeah, and that's what they did. So, you know, think about it. Amazon have, I think maybe 110 warehouses, right? Walmart have more than 4,700 stores that act in as warehouses. Yeah. So this is so powerful. Yes. So they can deliver faster. And now they have the exact same service. Um, the, it's prime. You can do, you can use the app and do store pickup. Mm. So anything available in the store, you can come and pick it up. You cannot do that with, with Amazon. Yeah. The same with the delivery. So if you have Walmart Plus, is the same as a Prime. So Walmart came out a few months ago with Walmart Plus. It is yes. equivalent to Walmart, uh, to Amazon Prime. It's the same benefits and even more. You get even a discount on gas and, and just so much more. And you can do it monthly. You don't have to pay yearly. So that's a huge benefit. So if you do, you do that and you go now online to walmart.com and you want to buy groceries and anything that is available in the store, you order it and in two hours it's in your door. That, that's amazing. It, it's super cool. And again, they have 4,700 stores, so they can actually get to almost everybody. Yeah. And, um, and Amazon cannot. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. And, you know, now Amazon has got so many new sellers. It's so competitive. I always get, you know, messages by people, by sellers that I don't know, and they always tell me, I'm selling on Amazon, but I lost my hope. You know, I don't know what I should oh, yeah. do. You know, it's too competitive. My products don't arrive. We personally had to, you know, stop charging some of our clients because they couldn't sell on Amazon. You know, their products get stuck in, in Australia, in Europe, in, in China. So that, that was terrible. Or even in the US, it took too long to arrive or they couldn't, you know, ship, uh, you know, as many products as the, the demand was. Um, let's change a little bit of the topic here. Uh, are you doing any advertising on, on Walmart? Uh, can you tell us how does it work right now? Yes, yes, that's that's a really good question. So yeah, I get that a lot. So Walmart have um, sponsored products. So that's similar to PPP, but it's different. Um, and again, it's working differently. Um, I think Amazon is, um, you know, they, they really got it. If you know how to do it right, you, it can really work for you yeah. really, really good. Uh, with Walmart, it depends. 
you know, you, it will take you maybe some time to get it right, uh, but it's definitely working and you don't have a lot of competition. So the bid st structure is different. So I know with Amazon, if you, you know, you put a bid, let's say for 30 cent and your competition is in 20 cents, you will pay probably 21 cent for each mm -hmm. click, right? With yeah. Walmart, whatever bid you put, that's what you're going to pay. So you have to know okay. if you have competition and what they're paying. Yeah. <laughs> spend a lot of money so yeah. again they have sponsored product it's displaying you in really good spots in the web um, and you're you need to put a budget of 50 dollar a day mm -hmm. is it a minimum budget start, or yeah minimum budget 50 dollar a day okay and they say you need to start with a budget of a thousand dollar but once you got your account you can stop your uh, campaign anytime so it's mm. not really you spending a thousand dollar but you do going to need to spend a, you're not going to spend $50 a day most of the time, but that need to be your budget. Okay. Uh, and another thing, another really cool thing that Walmart is giving you for free, and I hope it's going to stay for free for a long time. They're giving you uh, the option to create budget, little budget on your listing, a uh, mm -hmm. little bud that says a clearance or reduced price. And that's really eye So when you... Yeah. And that's, there's a couple of effects that happening with that. So first is eye catching with customer role and you see all this uh, clearance, he's going to stop and he's going to see instead of $29.99, today it's only $19.99, right? So you see that difference, you see that price cut. So that's going to make the customer stop. And the second thing, when Walmart run deals, he everybody, they have this uh, a badge they're going into the deals automatically. So you get in mm -hmm. more traffic. So yeah. if you create those badges, they, they will give you more traffic. So, and that's free. That's that's definitely, you know, uh, amazing for, for, for any kind of sellers, especially for Amazon sellers who are struggling, you know, to, yes. to, to live a <laughs> happy life with selling on Amazon. And I yes. think now this is the place to go. Uh, can you tell us on average, how many new sellers you bring uh, to Walmart every month? Um, well, that's a good question. I don't know, but we, we have right now in our Facebook group, like almost to a thousand, um, members and, you know, we get new members every day. So I think there's, you know, average, maybe like a hundred sellers a month, mm -hmm. something like that. And, and like you say, a lot of them, they, they come to Walmart because they lost their account or they lost or something really bad happened mm. with Amazon. And then this is why they're coming to Walmart. It'll be too mm. late, but luckily they get an account. So I see some companies actually in a couple of months, they start uh, recovering back and get, you know, the same sales. Yeah. And it really depends what you sell in. Just uh, today, I was actually looking at my Amazon account and they actually closed all my toys listing. They removed mm. all my toys from my Amazon account. Half of them is licensed merchandise that I cannot do nothing about it. And half yeah. of them is my private labeling toys and they want documents. So now I need to spend time yeah. to go and get them all these documents. So what's happening is that they're closing so many listings. And if you think it's me and thousands of sellers, so right now what's happening is there is thousands of thousands of products that have been removed yep. from Amazon. Yeah. So where people can find it now? People looking for this product. Yeah, 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 definitely. They're going to find it probably in Walmart. Walmart. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you want to be on Walmart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Because, you know, they're also doing a lot of, you know, branding in that side, letting people know that they are selling online. You can actually buy on Walmart.com. Yeah, so this this was definitely, definitely amazing. Um, Miha, I just want to wrap it up. But before, I want you to give one tip to any seller who's thinking about, you know, starting uh, selling on Amazon, on, uh, sorry, <laughs> it comes Walmart. like so naturally <laughs> for me, <laughs> start yeah. selling on Walmart. Tell us one tip, what they could expect, what they could not expect, how they could approach, they should approach this business of selling yes. on Walmart. So the first thing is you need to be prepared to apply. Um, you need to make sure you have all your documents. You need to have your uh, EIN in place and your addresses need to match and your business number because Walmart needs all these documents. So you need to have your business addresses, everything in place 
uh, fill up a W9 um, and check my tips on how to apply because the application is very tricky. Um, so uh, again, I have, I can tell them later, I have a free guide on exactly how to apply. And the second thing, make sure when you're applying, you take in the time because it's a different marketplace. And if you're not ready to spend time to learn, people get so frustrated and they stop. I see yeah. people get an account and do nothing because they don't want to put the time to learn uh, this new platform. It's, it's, you know, it's a different animal. You need to take the time and learn. Uh, and, and the third tip is when you create listing, make sure they're unique. Make sure they're yeah. unique. Yeah, yeah. This, these are great tips, uh, really good tips. We will make sure that we will link to your, to your guide and to your Facebook group or to your contact information, to your website, if anyone wants to get in touch with you. And I think this was, you know, packed of value and information. I really want to push the people who, who want to know more to get in touch with you. So we will leave the contact information uh, below yes. the comment. Come join to our group. We have a great group. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, to like this video if you like this content so we can make more and more and more. So, Mikhail, this was everything for now, and I am sure that a lot of people will get in touch with you. So thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you so much.